Guys, the All Father here. You are clashing with Taff and bringing you our next war recap for our sister clan Annihilated. And once again, they did it a perfect war 30 stars uh, out of 30 on a 10v10 war. And uh, all but one attack used, didn't need that last one 30 to 25 against North Sakalapa or whatever that is. Uh, so great job there, guys. That is the fourth perfect war in about 14. Uh, that's a pretty good percentage, um, so great job there, and everybody is just doing a really nice job working their three-star strategies. Uh, so 10 versus 10 war, we probably have a chance to look at about half of these attacks and uh, just see some interesting attacks, see how guys are doing and how the progression is going in uh, our newest uh, sub-clan annihilated in the assimilated war clan family. So let's go ahead and start off right away. Uh, first off with a shout out from Phantom Ghost to Tiffany and Stephanie. Have no idea what that's about. There's not even a Tiffany and a Stephanie in the clan. So maybe he's hoping that they're watching our YouTube channel. So anyway, there you go. Shout out to Tiffany and Stephanie from Phantom Ghost. Let's go ahead and get right into the recap. Uh, watching the Big L against the number one base, looking like a pretty much maxed out Town Hall 9. And uh, look at that army composition, just a basic Gova. And he's it's, uh, kind of that wide open ring style base. The intent of these is to uh, get you to walk around and not get into the town hall. He's got a lot of DPS in the town hall. Looks like three archer towers, both max expos, and I'm guessing four really big Teslas. And so pretty much is just a spam attack. And that's kind of what Valks are these days. As uh, as kind of a foolproof spam two star if not three star attack and so he's got 11 of them still there now he launches the rest of them see which way they're going to go he lets them clear a path so the valks are going to go straight to the middle uh, where he's going to go ahead and drop a jump spell might not have even been necessary valks wrecked those walls so quick but look at the dps all the teslas all the expos and three max archer towers which archer towers uh, max at town hall nine do have a ton of damage and so um Good job there getting the Valks in there and the BK, and they are just going to town. One jump spell, three heal spells, and this proves a couple of things. First of all, use your walls better. It's kind of a crap design. Um, and secondly, just, I hate to say it, but I mean, Valks are just kind of OP right now. It's kind of ridiculous. Um... I liked it at first because Valks hadn't been used very often, and, and I mean, really, you didn't see people using them hardly at all unless they just wanted to kind of mess around with some attacks. Now, since the update, uh, that's all you see is pretty much some sort of Gova attack or straight uh, Valk attacks, and they are just wrecking bases, people who couldn't three-star to save their life. Uh, and that's nothing against the Big L or anything here. This is just general observation. But people who couldn't even fight before are now three-starring max Town Hall 9s. And that will change. I pretty much guarantee it. Uh, the big-time guys in the war community, are, are, I'm sure, are not going to let this uh, let this one go. Uh, the spring tra traps were the start to the nerf with the ability to upgrade spring traps and spring two Valks per string tra spring trap. Um, but it still doesn't appear to be enough. This is just a pretty much an easy spam attack for a three star. But anyway, absolutely love it. Good job, Big L. Three starring the number one base against this clan. Next up, we'll look at this attack against the number two base by DVS Hunter. And uh, again, pretty much looks like almost max Town Hall 9. Few upgrades to go. Well, we got some expo upgrades to go in, in Wizard Towers and Archer Towers. So kind of a mid-level. Uh, exposed Queen, not very good base design, um, especially if you're trying to prevent a Goho attack. Uh, you want that Queen buried. Not a real good three star or anti three star setup there. Um, it's pretty much going with a Go Vaho here. Really widespread on the Golems, uh, which typically like to see them closer together, but with those Valks, you want to create a really wide funnel, so I understand that. Um, cause Valks will wander around the edge if you don't funnel them right. Goes ahead and drops that rage spell to get the Valks through the wall and start doing the damage. They're gonna go ahead and get in there and wreck about the first 
40 to 50 percent of the base. Hogs come in at a 90 degree angle from the main kill squad. That's very important. That's pretty typical um, depending on the base design, but typically you want those hogs and those uh, that kind of cavalry of defense targeting troops coming in at a 90 degree angle from your main kill squad. And what that does is it kind of works in concert with them. It shields your heroes. As you can see now, the BK and Queen can go ahead and clear things. Uh, another giant bomb there that he's able to work around. Gets the heal down just in time as they work towards those last defenses. But that kill squad goes up the middle, kind of clears a, a path like those Valks did. And then the Hogs from a 90 degree angle, they're just working in a circle. They're just going in a, a counterclockwise motion here, taking out the defenses. Got a few cleanup troops working the outside. They're safe. And Hogs take care of all the defenses, and I think he ends up with uh, one remaining, uh, maybe even two. And they'll go ahead and take out the clan castle in the town hall. The cleanup's already pretty much done. And from there, it's uh, just a matter of wrapping up that town hall, with, which those Hogs will do with a little bit of help from the Queen. And three-star attack. So really nice job there. Pretty much flawless execution by DVS Hunter. Next we'll look at a three-star attack by our fearless leader of Annihilated, Tristan. Doing a bang-up job getting this clan uh, restarted and built. Um, and I don't know if he knew that was a giant bomb there, but uh, good job getting a trip with a giant bomb with a hog and a clan castle lure. Wall breaker in the clan castle. Not really something you see all that often. In case you didn't know, wall breakers... Uh, if they're not against walls, really don't deal much damage, even if it is splash damage. Um, and then he's just baking them in the poison, uh, using a few cheap troops in the queen to kind of keep them baking in the poison spell. Drops his golem to shield again, an exposed queen. You don't want that. Uh, she jumps the wall. BK's going to aggro onto her, pop her in the head a couple times. She's dead. And then the wall breakers come in, followed by a few of those redheads. And again, like we said, Gova is the way to go right now. And uh, they're going to go to town. Go ahead and clear again. Just like that last one with DVS Hunter, they're going to clear a good chunk of the base, 30, 40, 50 percent of the base. And then you're going to see the hogs come in at a 90 degree angle from the kill squad. And what they do then is they start picking off those outer defenses without being targeted by too much other than those outer defenses. A little bit from that Wiz Tower there. And uh, he's going to have two more heals there. And now nothing is targeting the Hogs. They're just working around the outside, picking everything off. All the defenses are aggroed onto the Valks and the BK. And he's got a ton of Hogs under heal spells just trashing the defenses without even being targeted. And one heal to go for that one last compartment. Drops it there and has some extra Hogs in the bag. Just an overpowered attack. Those back end Hogs come in. He's going to have probably a dozen Hogs left, even with those flip traps. And saves a few wizards for the end for cleanup. And it's over. All he's got left is a poison spell. Let's see if he drops that poison spell for a little swag. Never hurts. Oh, yes, he does. There it is, right on the clan castle. Little swag poison spell just to rub it in any time to let your opponent know that they've been owned. Really nice job there by the leader, Tristan. Next up, a newer member in the clan, Reject723. Looking at that army composition, Giants and Valks, level 2. Guess what? No queen. This is a Town Hall 8 hitting up to a baby Town Hall 9. And uh, he's got one level 1 expo in there. All of his other defenses are underpowered, totally rushed base. And he deserves getting owned by a Town Hall 8 for rushing everything that much. Gets Clan Castle Lure with his Giants, gonna bake him in the poison. Blows a ton of Giants to keep him in the double poison spell, but that goes ahead and takes out the Clan Castle troops. And from there, he's got nothing to worry about. There's no Archer Queen, and he's got a wide open base there that he's quaked into. Only leaves him with one heal spell, but again, Valks, they're powerful. They have a lot of splash damage, and underpowered defenses are gonna be no match for them. Uh, they're just going to go to town. All these tightly clustered buildings are perfect for the Valks. They love that. They sit between them. They spin and splash and uh, goes ahead and uses that one heal spell, drops it, and just a few defenses left. I mean, these are Town Hall 7 level defenses basically right here. So um, again, not an overly complex attack, but just shows why we don't rush. Uh, you're not helping your clan out any in clan wars. Um, by going to that next level without 
pretty much maxing out the previous level. Uh, so nice job there. Great to see a Town Hall 8 hitting up uh, against their mirror on a Town Hall 9 for a 3. And just for fun, I'm pretty sure I've never featured a Town Hall 6 on a War Recap. Um, but we do have some lower level players in this clan, and so bringing in a few lower things here. Uh, Town Hall 6, again, wall breakers in the clan castle, garbage, Valks are nice. Um, but easily taken out with minions, nice job there. Must have uh, had an idea or a inkling or a pre-scout uh, from another attack that there was Valks in the clan castle, minions, take them out quickly. And no air defense on this poor little helpless Town Hall 6 base. He's got no air defense, probably level 1 wizard towers, level 1 bombs. Little heal spell on the only two air defenses in the base. They're gone. It's over. What a wreck. Uh, healers. Ah, healers will heal wizards, I guess. Um, two heal spells, though. Loons, they're going to just wreck this thing. And... Yeah, he had Clan Castle Wizards uh, for backup, but that's just OP. And poor little Town Hall 6 doesn't stand a chance, uh, which is why I don't recommend staying there very long. Uh, it's been a long time since I awarded that level. Uh, but it's always fun just to see how easy it is to torch those smaller level bases. Think back, maybe if you're Town Hall 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, remembering back to the good old days when you got smoked in wars all the time. Town Hall 6, easy 3-star, nice job there by Little Ghost. That'll do it for this war recap for Annihilated. Uh, great job again, guys. Fourth perfect war. And they are recruiting, looking for more people to learn three-star attacks to help build the clan families. And uh, you can find more by liking, subscribing, watching some other videos. Our website, assimilated.wix.com forward slash assimilated. You can also find us on Twitter at Clash with TAF. That's at Clash with T-A-F. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, this is the Allfather.